さっきはごめんボディの集積所に連れて行くよ<笑>俺の食品工場だ多分君のボディもそこに。欲しいものにはタダであげてる事前事業ってわけじゃないけど他で儲けてるからね俺は私のボディが<笑>間に合わなかった潰して分解したくさんの食品と食材の元になるのよそしてタダで提供してるんだこの星のみんなにね<笑>何か俺にできることがあったら言ってきな What's going on, guys? Sam from Anime 3, and I'll be discussing easily an underrated masterpiece, which is Kaiba, and why people won't speak about it as much as they should. Before I start this review, I want to say there will be some spoilers as this anime becomes increasingly difficult to understand and analyze without talking about the story directly. So, if you would want to watch this anime or you haven't finished it, I would advise you to watch this video after. Starting off, Kaiba is an anime directed by the brilliant Yuasa, known for some of the greatest, truly unique pieces of work, and we analyze and review some of them here on Anime 3. The art style and animation in Kaiba is no exception. Viewers experience a unique, lightly colored, cute universe that ultimately contrasts the whole idea of the show, which is very dark and intriguing. Kaiba is set in a dystopian world in which the lives and souls of people are stored on memory chips. This transfer of memories would mean people could live on even when their physical bodies perish. The audience are shown a great divide between the rich and poor. The rich are shown to live above the skies, protected by electrical clouds that wipe s clean memories of those who pass it. The rich are seen trading the bodies and memories of others for entertainment and having enough bodies of their own to pretty much become immortal. Just below the clouds, viewers are shown the difficult and vicious lives of the poor. The poor having to fight, survive, and sell their own bodies in order to support their families. The protagonist of this world wakes up with no memory of who he is, but a hole in his chest, a marking on his stomach, and a locket containing a blurred out picture of an unfamiliar girl. As he awakes, he is met with Popo, a person at the forefront of the anti memory chip organization. Popo warns the main character of the state of the world and that he should run and hide as he is in danger, temporarily naming him Warp. Popo helps Warp on the neuron ship to flee from danger. Whilst Warp is traveling this world, he encounters Nero, a girl the protagonist develops a romantic relationship with, and they travel this world in search of Warp's lost memories. Having no memories, Nero calls the protagonist Warp Kaiba. Which is the name taken from a giant memory eating plant in this universe. Kaiba and Nero are met with Baru and Hiohio, characters who don't stop helping until Kaiba fully regains his memories. As Kaiba and Nero travel on the neuron ship, they become wanted as illegals by the ship's sheriff, Vanilla, a sadistic, corrupt authority figure. And to escape being seen, Kaiba's memory chip is placed in different bodies, such as Kaba. The stuffed hippo and Chronico, a poor young girl who is promised by a doctor to have a body sold to help her family and a memory chip sent to them. When Kaiba sees Chronico's memory chip destroyed, his memory chip becomes implanted in Chronico. Vanilla eventually catches up to Kaiba, but he is seen as Chronico. Vanilla, being infatuated by Chronico's beauty, helps in all future missions they go on. This gives Kaiba enough time to understand the world around him. And recovers memories whilst showing us the lives of other characters in this anime. Kaiba and Nero experience so much in this world only to find out that Kaiba is the son of royalty, and there had been plans for him to be eliminated in order to crown the new successor of this world. It is later found that Kaiba or Warp had been cloned plenty of times, so whenever Warp goes missing or dies, another is there in replacement to keep control. 
but only the real warp has strong enough powers to destroy or fix the current world. As the Kaiba memory eating plant grows, Kaiba is faced by what seems to be a real but darker version of himself. This can be seen as real to the audience or just a depiction of Kaiba's darker side. The darker side places Kaiba in a very difficult position of either letting the entire human race become consumed by the Kaiba memory eating plant since human existence will always cause a great deal of pain and suffering for many people or fighting for humanity's survival knowing that later on the same sort of thing can happen in future. After Kaiba completely regains his memories he chooses the latter to fight for the continuation of humanity, reviving those who had passed throughout the anime. Now I know, even though I condensed this as much as possible, it still sounded confusing but I'll try to break this down as much as I can, only speaking on how I interpret this anime. Kaiba has many things going for it, covering many different topics such as love, attraction, money, but the main two being immortality and absurdism, which in some cases can complement each other really well. Kaiba poses a serious question to its audience. Should humans become immortal and if they did, what would happen? ひとより優位に立とうとする。他を下に an idea like living on in a digital form is not too far-fetched with the technological advancement we can see happening. When humans climb up a financial hierarchy, they start separating themselves from those under them. Rich people are just as aware of the importance of health and that death is inevitable, just like anyone else. Now if rich people are given an opportunity to continuously buy life, the gap between the rich and those less fortunate becomes far far greater, making the rich gods. Kaiba is placed in a position to not only destroy the towers the rich live on and the system of power the world has, but to destroy the entire human race, making them the same, united. Kaiba briefly touches on the philosophy of absurdism, although maybe not intentional, but when Warp decides to save the world, he knows that even if he fixes the current state, it can and will revert to the state again, and living in such a way makes no logical sense, but this is exactly how humans live. As long as there is good there will be bad, where there is left there will be right. Kaiba is an amazing anime with great design, story, characters and music, but the last episodes become so abstract in nature that it turns a lot of people off seeming really rushed to a lot of people, which it probably was but it covered what it could in enough time. If more order was brought in this anime, especially during the later episodes, it could have been even greater. Still, this gets high ratings from us and I would recommend this anime if you like non-linear abstract animes. Nisa? Eh? <laughs> さん。兄さん。ああ。兄さん。あ、よかった。大丈夫。まあな、早く出して入れてくれ。兄さん。<笑> Ah, 
間に合わせんでもボディやったら入れたんやん。